What's up, YouTube? Text in effect back with another test video. This is test video number three. Don't be alarmed. I'm not switching the channel over into a home improvement channel. But like most of you, I like to do small home improvements. And since this is one of my businesses, I'm going to show you guys how to purge and operate. This is an air airless spray painter. I'm going to show you guys how to operate it. The project that I'm doing right now for a customer, I'm painting their ceiling all black. So it's in the beginning stages. I've only applied one coat, but I'm going to show you guys how to get this started because I see that a lot of folks have problems getting this thing started. First thing you want to do, you want to make sure you want to make sure that the um, knob is down into the purge position. You really can't see this thing. Like I said, it's a Home Depot rental. And it's been rented thousands of times. But right here, you maybe you can see that arrow pointing down. That's the purge position. And then you can turn it this way or that way when you want to start your spraying or start to use the air sprayer. So the next step is to make sure that you have a bucket of somewhat clear water. Clear water is ideal. That water was clear. It's a little black because I've been using black paint. And then you want to have what is called a waste bucket. So this right here is your waste tube. This tube right here pulls the paint. For this example, it's going to be pulling water because we need to purge the system first. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the power on. Power switch is right there. And as you can see, it's starting to purge water from this bucket into the waste bucket. Once you see water, let it run for about 20 seconds. And then you know that the system has been purged. So we're going to let this run for a few more seconds. Power purge. Okay, we're going to cut the power button off. The next thing we want to do is we want to put this in a bucket of paint. So let's just say this is a bucket of black paint. We want to put the waste tube in with the pull tube. The pull tube looks like this. It has a filter on the end to catch any debris. So all it should be picking up is paint. These two tubes will click together. It clicks on right there to the big tube, the waste tube. But for practical purposes, I'm just going to stick them both in the paint tube. This is the paint tube. Then we want to take that purge button and make sure it's pointing to the left or the right. Waste tube, waste tube, paint tube. Purge button has been turned to the left or the right. Then we want to take our spray gun. So let me go grab the spray gun. And if everything has been purged correctly, when you push the handle on the spray gun, after you cut the power back on, it should stop. And then it should, you should see spray coming out of the spray gun. And the motor will not constantly run. It will only run when you apply pressure to the spray gun. So guys, once again, this is test video number three. Don't worry, I have Xfinity on Fire Stick updates coming. If you're wondering why I'm doing test videos, just look at the first video that I published on my return. Text in effect signing off. Peace.